Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about how I take care of my hair in China. So I know, I know this is another girly video, but I think this is the most requested video on my channel. So I just have to talk about it. So I have been reluctant to make a video about my hair because I think my resume is very short and it's very, very simple. So that's why I have been reluctant to make a video, but recently, Lately, I've just been so tired of answering the same questions. So I'm just going to make a whole video and put it out there for you guys. So I think 90% of the time I wear wigs. So 90% of the year I wear wigs. Um, so what I do is I have a friend that cornrows my hair for me. Um, if you are at a international university, you will definitely find two or three people that know how to do hair and i know cornering is very simple i should know how to do it but i don't know it's just something that i don't know it's just so hard for me to learn how to do it my hair is very coarse and it's been hard for me to learn how to cornrow my own hair so um that's how i get my cornrows done i have a friend or i find someone that I know personally that can do my hair and yeah I cornrow my hair so I'm going to show you a clip of how my cornrows look it's basically just cornrows going to the back and um, from the back going upwards and then they meet somewhere around the back this is because uh, I found that cornering to the back my hair at the back is really short so as the cornrows get old um, the hair at the back comes out like really quickly and that leads to the hair at the back breaking or it's you know just getting damaged and stuff so that's why I corner from back to front and from front to the back so yeah and then the other question I get is um, where do I get my wigs so believe it or not for the past four years I haven't found a amazing wig company um, I've actually worked with three wig companies so far and that's how I get my wigs um, they send them to me and usually I work with new wig companies to make um, videos for their websites or social media platforms and stuff so this wig I, actually, I have on right now is from wigencounters.com it is a new um, hair company as well so I've been working with them to make some videos for their website and their social media and so far this hair is good um personally i would suggest you stay away from curly hair um curly hair is really hard to maintain it's it's high maintenance basically and if you don't maintain it in a certain way the wig will not or the hair will not last at all so just stay away from curly hair um i think the hair from divaswigs.com their straight hair is good but their curly hair <laughs> their curly hair mm, no stay away from it um i was working with them and i told they wanted me to do a certain style with the curly hair and i told them that the hair is not good like i cannot do certain things with the hair because it's very very thin basically it was so thin to the fact to to the point where when i'm walking you could actually see the lace at the back and that the hair was just too thin and I think they didn't like that so they just literally just stopped contacting me and we actually had an agreement a contract of some sort that I'll be happy I will receive a certain amount of wigs and they'll pay a certain amount of money and they just stopped in the middle so I don't know they're just too shady so but I have to admit that the, the straight hair was really good but the curly hair, stay away from it. Um, wig Encounters, their straight hair is good. I have their straight hair as well. And their curly hair and their bob, all good. I'm still to find out if this hair is going to last. But I've had it for a week now and it's holding up good. Um, so yeah. With wig companies, I'm sorry, I cannot suggest. If you want a straight hair, you can get it from Divas Wigs or Wig Encounters. Um, wig Encounters also has good hair. 
I've been ha I've been using their hair for some time now that's why I'm saying so not because they sent me free hair so yeah so how I take care of my natural hair I've been natural for the past three years now um like I said 90% of the time my hair is in cornrows and I I keep my cornrows in for about a month and a half I try my best to push it to two months every three weeks I wash it and I wash my hair with this this is organics two-in-one anti-dandruff my hair is very very dry so this anti-dandruff is very good um, it's organics it's two-in-one conditioner and shampoo and yeah, I found that my hair really loves this conditioner and it smells really good so yeah so sometimes when I kind of stretch my my washing routine to about four weeks I like to use a shampoo and this is the shampoo I use Tresemme it's by it's from Tresemme and it's their cleanse and replenish deep cleansing for all hair types multivitamin shampoo looks like that and it also smells amazing I love it and then after I wash my hair I like to use um, this amla oil amla oil is really good um, for strengthening the hair um, and you know giving it shine and just keeping it as healthy as possible um, I believe it originated from India if I'm wrong please don't mind correcting me um, so but it's written right here amla the Indian hair oil helps to strengthen and give shine to hair so after washing my hair I just you know it has this um, thing that will this applicator that will help it that will help you to apply the oil to your corners or to your natural hair then oh yeah I'll sometimes if I don't add the amla oil I use a coconut oil and sometimes if I don't use the coconut oil I use the olive oil and sometimes I just use all of them generously if I'm in the mood then after that I just you know plop back my wig and sew it back on or just let my hair breathe then when I have my natural hair out I like to use this um, and I have my natural hair out I like to use this um, moisturizing and softening shampoo from Aunt Jackie's it looks like that you can see that it's already almost done and this helps with my detangling and stuff because my hair like I said my hair is very very coarse and dry so this helps with um, detangling and after my hair dries and stuff I mean after washing it and it's still damp I like to apply this instant detangling therapy this helps to soften help restore moisture balance eliminate knots and tangles it looks like this it's also from Aunt Jackie's and it works very well and then when I get to braiding my hair back I use this I know this looks kind of ratchet but when I packed it I had to sellotape this all over just so that it doesn't spill out um, this is their plating pudding cream and it's from dark and lovely natural the natural range and this is for braiding twisting and threading so before I conroe my hair or I get my, my hair conroed I apply this to my hair and then I get it conroed so yeah basically what I use is coconut oil olive oil amla oil or some you know natural hair creams and stuff and then yeah sometimes I let my hair breathe for like one or two days before I get it conroed again because I, I don't like leaving my hair out I end up you know touching it and pulling it out and stuff and that leads to breakage and stuff like that so I prefer to just keep it away in cornrows and take care of it that way so yeah I hope I didn't miss out anything else but that's how I take care of my hair and that's what I discovered that my hair likes like I said I'm natural for the past three years and I'll never let me, just, let me not say never but um I don't think I'm going to go back to being a relaxed girl because my hair gets very thin when it's relaxed and it doesn't take well to relax her so no I don't think I'll be going back to relaxing my hair 
So, yeah. Yeah, that's all. I think that's all. I think I covered everything. I hope I covered everything. If you're coming to China, don't forget these products. All these products are from home. When I say home, it's from my country where I'm from. So I brought all these products. These products are not from China. Um, so yeah, if you have certain products that you like to use on your hair, definitely pack them and make sure that they're wrapped really, really well. I like to wrap my things in, um, in sellotape and then a newspaper or a plastic wrap. That's how I wrap my stuff. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, Jen.